His name is Jo Tong Yen. How old are you? I'm 60. He's 82 years old. Where were you born? You take a blow. What was life like for you before the war? How many siblings did you have? More, my mom and dad have nine kids. I'm the last one. Then I have the older brothers, farmer. That's what I remember when. The second brother is a uh, he's a uh, mm, daughter on the war. He's finished his uh, degree on the daughter. Then after he got his uh, daughter degree and this so uh, in the war and then he got killed in the war too. And my other brother, he is. On the one, uh, use a bulldozer to make a rope. Then he got killed too. And then he got my other brother and him got injured together, and he died and he died. Uh, Grandma, what kind of home did you live in? Gotcha, all in all, or gotcha, all itu share. They had walls, right? We use bamboo to make a wall or some type on top of roof or hay on, on the roof or sometimes and then we use plastic for us then we use for a wall and on the top. What kind of toys did you play with? Toy. Mm. Are there any ghost stories or superstitions your parents told you about? What age were you when the Vietnam War started? Mm, Vietnam War started. I remember I moved place to play with. And uh, at night, the parents just go then very bright and the moon full moon and very bright and we move on the dog place to play I don't know what how I am <laughs> what was it like being in the war <laughs> Can you tell us what happened to your legs? Okay. When they were fighting the war, uh, America, they fought for America in the secret war, right? How that all happened, like how he fought for America and how he got to the U.S. Mm-hmm. 
So he died or not anymore? So he was forced to fight yeah. with mm -hmm. American soldiers, or <laughs> yeah, the uh, everybody had to fight. Then he had no choice; just go and fight for. Bo ha ka mi ka ha ka fight to bo na ka pa ka lu pe America. Bo na da ka fight ye fight si ye ta pe tu boss. Leave the bit of bar the you to take big among the fight go look country freedom none of you have to fight. Then after that then the American leave us then General Van Pound he said he go and what what about us then the um, jury, his name is Jury, I think. Then he said, Don't worry, go there and take care. Then everybody had to follow him. So that's how you guys came to America? Yeah, and then only they pick up the plane. Because in the Vietnam, um, using the red marker, the marker, everybody's name. Then who check? Then who search? They all red marker. They had to leave. And then my husband and my all my brother. Then uh, my husband's family they didn't go with the uh, our bar general bar. But my husband said, if I don't go, he had to go, because his name on the red marker. Then I said, okay, go that time. Then my brother had a lot of kids. I mean, everybody get to the airport, and then they didn't pick up and the whole Hmong country. They pick up only the highest family, like a general or the people like a, have more um, important family, they pick up only that family. And then, uh, my brother got a lot of kids, he lose, he cannot get in the plane, he, he lost. They, I, I don't know why I get in the plane too, because my husband and my brother and my mom, they all my brother lose. They lost the plane, and that time only my sister-in-law, my brother go hunt for water for the kids, and my my sister-in-law say, "You better help me to hold one." little girl's hand. Then that time the planes come. Then I carry my son. I have only one son, only one children at that time. I tie my son in my bag. Then I grab my niece. I grab my suitcase. And then thousand, thousand people behind me and push, push, push me inside the plane. That time I get in the plane and turn around. Only my uncle and my aunt and my cousin and his wife. And my uncle almost died in the plane because too many people. And yeah, and all my brother and my mom and my other brother, my husband get lost. And they didn't go pick up no nobody no more. That's it, my plane is the last one. On that plane was you, your uncle, mm -hmm. one little girl, was that? My niece. Your niece. And my son. And your son. And my aunt. So, and my cousin. So, and his wife. So you had to leave the rest of your family behind. Uh -huh. And 
And we think we never see each other. And we cry and cry. But a couple of weeks, they, no, they go by taxi across the Mekong River. And then they get to Thailand and they find they found us in Nampong camp. And like my brother had a lot of kids, he cannot cross it. And he don't have any money to, and he cannot camp. But they are alive. All the kids and my sister died together. And they just killed like a couple of them. I heard he said they just cut through like you can't. So, so, uh, you know, I would have put, put a board, you would have two at a time. So, I would tell me you are more like I sat on top of the water, sir. Calling, eh? They took him to Vietnam, border Vietnam. Did the military the military got him out of the country? Let him go at that point to say Yeah. You served your time? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What what happened to him next? Kutu he sent picture to us, then we know he's still alive. Then we send money to buy plane ticket and make a paperwork. Then he made a passport to come out came over to us. Then he just stay and never go back. What was it like for you to leave Laos by plane at this point and come to the United States? Can you share with me a little? Me? Yes, about oh. you coming. Oh, that's hard. Okay. They say, go, you, I had a lot of chicken. <coughs> My first time in my life, I had a little house and a lot of chicken and two pigs. And I really enjoyed it. I don't want to leave, but my husband said, if you don't want to go, then I go to stay. It was crazy for you, probably. Yeah. What, 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 did, what did you think about America when you came? I I think I had to go somewhere because since I'm born and moved place to place, I never had place to live free. One place that you live for a couple of years, you had to move another place. And then you try to do your garden, but you can't. Started and had to move again. Then it's hard, and sometimes I had no clothes to wear. Just use a couple pair of clothes. I use pots pan to cook and go. And then use banana leaf for house for a couple. Of a couple of weeks, they move again. They, I'm really happy I get up in Laos. Where did you live when you came to the United States? Uh, Thailand, then 
came to Hawaii. First. Hawaii. Oh. Yeah. Then. How long were you in Hawaii? I think it's uh, three years. Years. Mm-hmm. Seventy-six, then seventy-eight or seventy-nine, we moved to Wisconsin. Was you born with you when you got to Hawaii, or you born? Oh, you born in North Carolina. Oh, you born in North Carolina the whole uh-huh. time. Yeah. So he's been here since. He came. He that time, my brother, and my mm-hmm. mom, still alive. And they came to California, and then he moved. He came to see me over here. Then he lied over here and they stayed with me. Where were you living when he came? Uh, in, yeah, in Nebo. What year did you come to Nebo? Uh, 88, 1988. Okay. So, in the 76, 78 Hawaii, mm-hmm. then... 76, 78, or 79, Hawaii, they moved to Wisconsin, uh, Manitoba, and Wisconsin. <coughs> then we moved to my husband's family in Ohio, Akron, Ohio, then we moved to Ohio, then he came for a very good job, and then we moved to Colorado, and um, border in Colorado. Then he wanted to move back to Akron again. Then I don't want to, but he had him go first. Then we moved to Akron, then I cannot find me a job either. Then we, I had a friend down here. Then they said they have a job down here. Then I moved to Albemarle. Then I tried Albemarle, but I still get no job down there too. Then I got one cousin over here, and then and Mary, he was on a man machine. And then we, he said, just come off here. Then we came over here. Then my job, I came here and my husband worked for my cousin and man machine. And then I go work for a million break. <laughs> it's too greasy and dirty and heavy. <laughs> 70 pound or 80 pound, I had to left thing. And then, uh, I quit, then I go work for a hobo. Then I lay down and go back there. Then my last job is back there. <laughs> when Jartan came to America, when you brought him here, when was that? You don't go to the house, you don't go to the house. You don't go to the house, you don't go to the house. In 92 um, December. Okay, from the 1970s to 1992, where oh. was he? Was he in Vietnam? No, he I, came oh. to uh, here. Wait, he was in Vietnam until 1992? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Is that when he was still in jail? Because we left. Why was him. he? I, th- I thought he was just in jail for a couple of years. Yeah, a couple of years. And then after that, they let him free, and then he still lived up there until 1992. Wow. Did you know this? Mm-hmm. I did not. When you were told that the president was in the president, the president was in the president, the president was in the president. What was the first state you thought came to when uh, they when he came to the United States? He first he came to California to Oxnard, Oxnard, California. And then he came here and that's it. <laughs> 
had a, a the, you don't like living at the Blue Ridge apartment. I understand he's very popular there. Oh. He's uh, oh. he's like their uh, resident celebrity, and all the seniors kind of look out for him and really <laughs> like him a lot. Oh. I think my grandma helps too. So oh, yes, yes, yeah. you are very popular too over uh-huh. there, as I understand. Oh, really? yeah. First, I uh, find those house. He don't want to leave. He denied. Then the second time, uh, I said, you had to learn how to live by yourself. I don't know when I'm going to die first or I let you behind. You don't know how to take in care of yourself. And then we talk to each <coughs> other. Then I cry and he cry and he said, okay, I try. And then the second time that I go back to the apartment, Blue Ridge, then they say, oh yeah, his name's still here. Who application again? Then I fell another application. Then he got right away. Then I'm very happy to get his own place. <laughs> Myla, how long has he been there? Uh, I'm not quite. It's not long, is it? No. Can I have a picture of the long blue ridge apartment? No, no, no. Does he still think about Vietnam? Uh, do either of you miss Laos? Like, is there something that you miss? No, not me. you Why does he miss it? Like, what's the reason? Are you grateful to be an American citizen today? Uh, 